There have been studies on how adult lungs respond to the chemicals in cleaning products, but this study looked at infants. And as one local researcher told me, it is another big piece of what's been a complex puzzle. It's the first study that showed that exposure to cleaning products is associated with asthma in young children. Jessica Hollenbach is the director of the Asthma Center at Connecticut Children's Medical Center. Now she still stresses that just because cleaning products are associated with asthma doesn't mean we've proven they cause asthma. We don't know what causes asthma. And so it's thought that, uh, that these cl household cleaning products are chemicals that are, that are irritating the cells that line the respiratory tract. And that lines up with what doctors already recommend for people with asthma. We've recommended um, that children with asthma really avoid uh, fragrance, fragrances or scents. So things like candles, um, perfumes, colognes, uh, air fresheners are a big one. And this study also found a stronger link to asthma in cleaning products that were in fact scented. Now that's not good news for people who associate those smells with a fresh clean house. So then what are some lung friendly cleaning products? What we do recommend is to use what's um, safer, cleaner or greener cleaning products and that would be things like uh, baking soda or borax or using um, um, our vinegar to clean and those have been shown to be safer uh, and, and not irritating to the to the airway. Hollenbach said bleach wasn't included in the study, but its fumes can also irritate lung cells, so generally asthma experts aren't fans of it. So what scent can you use? You could always add a squeeze of lemon juice in your vinegar water mix if you want that fresh smell. Yeah. Uh, that's always a really good option, but they clean, they clean just as well. Hollenbach said that problem with scents even extends to scented candles and those Glade plug-in type home fresheners as well. I'm Tim Lammers, Fox 61 News.